Hi and welcome to this uh, file architecture tutorial for the XML zooming slideshow. Let's have a look uh, at the file structure we get uh, when we uh, open the, uh, the file from Flashdan. So <coughs> basically we have the, um, the uh, FLA file which is actually the source code of uh, the slideshow. Uh, we have the SWF which is the uh, compiled version of the FLA. Um, and uh, basically you only need to have the SWF on your server to, uh, to, uh, to work. You don't need the FLA. <coughs> and uh, very important also we have the uh, XML file where we're going to enter all the, um, the addresses of uh, the path to all the images. And um <coughs> let's open the uh, index.html uh, here. So here we go, we have the slideshow. And uh, how does this work? Um, <coughs> by opening the, uh, XM the HTML file, we just uh, call the SWF, which is calling the XML file. And uh, the XML file is loaded into the SWF, and uh, from there is calling, <coughs> is calling the, uh, the, uh, the images. Um, just to illustrate what I just said, we can make a test here and uh, create a new folder. I'm going to call test and I'm going to drag and drop the XML file in this folder. And now, uh, if I try my HTML page again and I refresh, uh, it's not working anymore. Um, <coughs> of course, the XML is not found, and this is the typical message you get uh, loading XML, and it's, uh, it will always stay this way. Uh, to solve this issue, we need to open the FLA file and flash. Uh, let's have flash um, open. Okay, <coughs> I'm just gonna remove this. So uh, in the timeline I'm gonna go on the layer actions frame number two and from there I'm gonna open the layer actions. And uh, here uh, I think yeah, it's that at the line six. Uh, this is where you can change the path to the XML. So in our case, right now I have to add test, and I have to compile my uh, SWF again. So let's do this, and it seems to work. And let's have a look uh, on the HTML page and refresh, and now it, it's working. Um, <coughs> White, what might appear a bit confusing um, is that uh, in my test folder, uh, let's open the XML. What might be confusing is that um, the path uh, defined in, in the XML are not relative to uh, the position of the XML. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's have that here. So this is, for example, the path for the first image here it's images slash b and if I have a look at my file structure uh, I see my XML here alone but I don't see any uh, image uh, folder here and actually the image folder is here <coughs> so um, <coughs> basically um, to set up the path in the XML uh, you have to be relative from the first color and the first color in our case is index.html uh, if you're if you're programming with a PHP or ASP, it's it's basically the same. Um, and also, if you decide to embed the uh, slideshow in another Flash, like you want to have uh, the slideshow uh, playing in within a Flash website, you will have to uh, to uh, import this uh, SWF in another SWF, which uh, in the end will be called by a, by a HTML page. So um, <coughs> to set up the path in your XML, it is very important to uh, to uh, to know that the root of the path uh, is going to be uh, located uh, with the first color. In our case here, it's uh, index.html. And um, I hope um, I hope uh, this little tutorial was helpful. Thank you.